I'll show you how to get the best understanding of digital freedom in just over a minute. Whether you're a tech whiz or just curious, you're in the right place. Ever wondered who calls the shots online? Let's find out who's really the boss. Spoiler, it's not who you think. The answer might surprise you. Let's start with what we know, love. Your bank, your social media accounts. There's always a big boss in the middle, holding all the power. They decide what you can and can't do. If they say no, well, that's the end of that. But what if there wasn't a single boss at all? Imagine a world where everyone has a say. That's where decentralization comes in. Picture a community garden where everyone chips in, agrees on the rules, and no one can sneak off with your prize-winning tomatoes. Everyone's effort matters. In a decentralized system, power is spread out. Lots of people, not just one person calling the shots. It's a team effort, not a solo act. This is how cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin work. No single bank can freeze your account or print new money willy-nilly. The rules are set by everyone, not just a few. It's all about shared power and trust. People work together and everyone benefits from the system. So decentralization makes things stronger, fairer and much more resilient. It's harder to break and easier for everyone to have a voice. No single point of failure, no one boss to mess it all up. The system keeps running, even if one part has trouble. It's a digital world, built by the many, for the many. Everyone's included and everyone's contribution counts. What do you reckon? Does a world without one big boss sound freeing or maybe a touch scary? Would you trust a system run by everyone? Pop your thoughts below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tales with yours truly. Toodaloo! There's so much more to explore together.